Good morning, everybody. Um, so today's video is going to be a how I stay productive video. Um, I hope you like it. First things in the morning, I try to have my Oxy Shred Fat Burner. Um, you have it every morning. I've said this in a previous video. You have it every morning, once a day on non-training days. And on training days, you have it twice. So once in the morning and 10 minutes before you work out. Today is technically supposed to be a rest day for me, but I'm probably gonna do like a five minute yoga session like a morning yoga with um, Cassandra. I used to use her all the time before I got real um, serious about my workout. So I would only do like yoga with her. Um, so, and since I wanna record, I'm gonna do it on YouTube. Um, Cause I use my phone now when I do certain workouts since I have the Apple Fitness Plus. So, as you just seen, I'm done with my yoga. Um, it was just 15 minutes, and I've never used my block before, so I'm pretty happy that I got to use it. Um, so, the point of this video is to show you how I stay productive, um, especially since I quit my job. Um, I use my planner, and I usually try and plan out a week, a week's worth of you know productivity. Um, so I'll just start with um, April 5th to the 11th, like this, this whole week. <clears throat> so it's very cheesy, but I assign every month a color. So April is blue and last month was pink. I'm gonna show you. Last month is when I really started to get into it, specifically March 10th is when I started like my workout and like trying to stay productive. It's not pink, but it's when I first started. Um, but then the next page, is all pink and it's all ideas and everything. So for April, we have the first, I have three columns um, sorry, three rows, three columns, yeah. So the first row is all workout, um, whether it's rest day or if it's upper, lower body, whatever the case may be. Um, so this here, because I do follow the Alive um, app by Whitney Simmons, so um, I write what is supposed to be done on that day down on my planner. Now, when it comes to rest days, like I had today, my rest day technically, um, I did yoga. I don't usually have a certain like rest day where I don't do anything because um, I want to keep my body active in some sense. So, um, so. I mean, yeah, I use I use my my planner for just about everything, and I write out everything in a week a week a week's worth of like stuff to do. Um, so the first one, like I said, is all workout. The second one is um, school related, and the third one is just sort of miscellaneous stuff, um, which is like reading or writing. So this first week here, um, it's quite empty because I just started, um, just started it. So today is Friday, so what I can do is cross out rest day in yoga. Um, 
and then I'm going to add some schoolwork to it. Let me see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Push you back. So, for instance, yesterday I was supposed to finish um, a blog on my discussion board. Um, I didn't get to do that because I was super tired. So, it's going to be done today as well as my marketing plan, which is part of my final project. So, um, this is, I don't hold myself to these days, but they are a reminder of things that I am trying to get done for the day. So if I don't do one or the other today, I'll just do it tomorrow or Sunday. Sunday is the last day to submit all assignments, so I will write that. To submit assignments. Yeah, so these are the only two things I have left for um, for this week's course. Um, I don't have anything to do tomorrow because um, I am going to start the Alive 2.0 10 weeks um, on Sunday. So yeah, this is typically how I stay motivated. I will um, show you last month's because this one doesn't look too exciting. March definitely was a little more exciting to uh, look at. So I had all my video ideas down over here. Um, my workouts, like I said, for example, this one says hit a uh, hit workout with Kim and upper body rest day. So I did yoga with Dustin for 30 minutes. Um, then I had a video idea that I was going to do what I ate that day. I did some writing. Um, so, and then I had some uh, homework down here. So this is before I kind of got into how I wanted to personalize my journal my planner excuse me um and then i wrote some affirmations on the next week here to follow for the month i just put cute little stickers around um just to help keep me motivated i did the same thing here for uh the last week of april uh march first week of april i have some affirmations here um, I have a cute sticker. This is Love Grows right in the corner. Um, I have this one, Make Plans and Own Today. So what I'll do is um, I'm probably going to do next week's. As you see, it's all blank, but um, the only thing is that I need my phone to do that because I um everything like my workout calendar and everything is on my phone so what i'll do is i will fill this in and then i will bring you back so this is next week's calendar um as you see i didn't fill in anything for school yet because i need to log on to my um onto my site and actually look at what's going on um but just imagine that there's school assignments filled in but I really just wanted to show you more so my fitness and personal stuff only because um, I am on a fitness journey and I'm very proud of myself. Anyway, so this is what next week's um, workout is looking like. Um, I'm doing the Alive 2.0 10-week program. So I'm starting it on Saturday the 11th and we're starting with legs which is 60 minutes. And then after that, we have pull for 45 minutes. And then I also want to do a cycling workout with Sharika. Um, I just discovered her yesterday on the fitness app. Um, and she is amazing. I really like her energy. So I want to do another cycling workout with her. Um, and then we have a push workout for 45 minutes, rest day. So it's yoga with Dustin. I only do yoga with Dustin because I really like him i really like his um like his whole setup and everything then we do legs again upper 
treadmill I mean rest day so we're gonna do a treadmill with Emily I really like Emily um, she's so sweet and cute so I'm gonna do a 20 minute treadmill workout with her then we're back to strength with Amir um, um, and I'm gonna do strength with Amir for 21 minutes I actually just realized that I didn't fill in this would be week two according to the Alive app. So I'm assuming that would be legs because you see the um, the pattern is legs. The pattern would be legs, pull, push, rest day, then legs, upper, rest day. So then the next week would be pretty much identical. So it would be legs, pull, push, rest day. So I'm gonna go back into the app just to confirm that. So um, yeah, I need to put that there. And then down here, I just have my personals. Um, so I am writing my own novel. So uh, I don't hold myself to this time limit. It's just uh, something that I at least need to be involved in for uh, about 20 minutes. Um, even if that's just brainstorming, thinking, inspiration, um, so I want to at least write for about that amount of time. But again, no restrictions per se. Um, and I'm trying to finish this novel right here, which I have 120 pages left. So if I read 20 pages a day, I should be done with it by the 17th. But since I actually like this novel so much, I will probably be done with it before then. Um, this is just what it would look like if I planned out how I wanted to read. It's a little anal, I know. So, <laughs> but this is typically how I started when I quit my job to stay productive. Um, because I needed to hold myself accountable to some things and not get myself in a rut. So yeah, oh, and this one here, Read the Dragon of the North, page 423. This is just a fairy tale, um, a short story fairy tale, because I bought um, a, let me just show you. So I bought this book here, Beauty and the Beast, another, and other classic fairy tales from Barnes and Noble, and it's so beautiful. They have all different kinds, but I really wanted the pink one. Um, the edges are silver and sparkly. I don't know if you can really see that. But anyway, um, they are short stories. And I did read, um, a beauties, like, about princesses. So they have, the, uh, short stories separated between beauties and beasts. So yesterday I read, where is it? Yesterday I read Fairer Than a Fairy, and so tomorrow, not tomorrow, but um, was that the 17th? I'm going to read The Dragon of the North. So, yeah. So you're probably wondering why I want to do that. I mean, if you are at all, and it's really just because um, I want to stay involved in my reading. Um, I love fairy tales anyway, and I wanted to read things that are not just your Disney fairy tales um just to see what other people have come up with and I think it's beautiful honestly so um and like I said they're short stories so I'm not like overwhelming myself with different novels all at once so yeah so I really hope you like this video um please subscribe if you haven't already um yeah, this is just something that I've been trying to do to stay active while I'm currently not working. Um, yeah, let me know if you like it, and I hope you guys have a great day.